morning, good people. Okay, so today is, what's today's date? I have my niece with me in the car, headed to my, April the 3rd, guys. I'm headed for what they said is baseline ultrasound and blood work today, y'all. Um, I'm kind of questioning this because I had a saline ultrasound. Um, it was a month ago, about a month ago. And I had blood work as well. So I got the results back from that. And... I'm going to have to do a separate video on that because there's so much information. Either way, my AMH was like 45. For those of you who know what that is, that is really high. But it's expected with PCOS. My testosterone was like 115. Um, and I also discovered that my vitamin D was severely low. It was like 14. Um, so Doc called and said I needed to be on supplements ASAP for the next eight weeks from that date. So I've been taking the vitamin D along with the other supplements that I've been um, taking. So today we're headed to get a um, baseline ultrasound and baseline blood work done today. Um, and so I think in the last video we talked about whether my cycle um, we're waiting for this my cycle to start on its own or they will start it for me and so guys it never showed up which is I'm not surprised by that it would be that when we decide to start IVF that my cycle decides not to come I've gotten it for the past four months straight no problem and now we're starting IVF and it decides not to show so I'm gonna do the Provera um, I guess they'll let me know today how many days I'll be taking that. And from the Provera, um, once my cycle drops, then I'll start the birth control to suppress my hormones. Um, I'm not sure how long I'll be on birth control. I'm hoping that it's not a long period of time. Anybody know, you know have any suggestions not suggestions but advice as far as that's concerned i do have experience with birth control but i don't know how long i'm going to be on it for to start ivf or to start stimming or when i start stimming so i guess maybe i'll find some of that out today i don't know i'm kind of nervous because i feel like i've just signed over my entire life to ivf and the doctors to kind of control everything through medication so that is where we are today that's what we're doing today um, and then I still do have the follow-up appointment on April the 8th to go back and discuss my blood results from the initial blood tests that was that were drawn so yeah that is what we are doing today, guys. Hubby is not here with me, and I, I wish that he was. Actually, he's not feeling that good today. Um, he had a sore throat last night, and um, he woke up this morning feeling kind of weak. And so I'm really, really concerned about him today. So I'm going to be checking on him a lot, probably get him some soup or something, and you know, make sure he's good. But I, I do not like it when he's sick. I don't like it at all because he's rarely sick. He doesn't complain and you never know something is wrong with him until he says something. So I'm kind of sad about that today. I don't want him to be sick. We are currently headed to our AAU tournaments this weekend. Um, we got a couple of games today. Actually, there's four <coughs> games today, right? We got two, that 16U, 17U, and each one has uh, two games today. So we will be out pretty much the whole day today. Team Strat. Team Strat. Your girl been super busy the past couple of days. Very, very tired and exhausted from working a lot. Um, and it's 
been very tiring because the locations that I have to go to are really, really far driving distance. And so just the driving itself can be very exhausting. But got a little bit of rest last night. How'd you sleep last night? I slept pretty good. Yeah. Especially after we won and the Warriors won. Good. Well, they had games all weekend. Games Friday, um, Saturday, and Sunday. And so... Yeah, so they have games all weekend. And um, I worked Thursday and Friday. Thursday, day shift, night shift, and Friday morning at the same location. And it was just very tiring. As far as the IVF is concerned, we are moving along. I know the last time I checked in, I was headed to my doctor's appointment. Um, I think I was going for blood work and ultrasound that day. Um, since then, we have, we, I did the Provera. And then after the Provera, they put me on birth control to uh, actually officially start the IVF cycle. So, um, and I'll have dates and everything more specifically. Yeah, so it's it's a lot of details that went into the when I when I took the Provera. Um, I know I took it for five days, and um, then they started me on birth control, which I'm currently taking. I will be finished with my birth control on the 29th of this month, which is Monday. Once I finish the birth control. Um, I go for blood work and ultrasound, baseline blood work and ultrasound on the 30th, which is Tuesday. Um, I have a 9.45 appointment in the morning on Tuesday. And then Thursday, which I believe is May 3rd, I will start stimming, y'all. I'm so nervous. I think I'll be taking like two different um, shots a day. At first it was supposed to be three, but I don't see that on my protocol. Um, and I'll be taking 37.5 um, I use of Gonal F, the Red Eject Pen, and 75 I use of Minipure. So, again, I think I stated in previous videos that I have PCOS and because of that they want to make sure that they are giving me well they're starting us out with the lowest dose possible because of the risk of hyperstimulation so we'll see how that goes and from there we'll be monitored every other day or they'll let me know when I have to come in but the most exciting news y'all is that we have a we have a tentative week for egg retrieval, which will be the week of May 12th. Yes, so the week of May 12th, we're looking at a possible egg retrieval during that week. They'll let me know, of course, based on blood work and ultrasound, if if my um, doctor, Dr. McCarthy, is um, satisfied with the results, then she'll let us know when to trigger and We'll be going in for that retrieval, y'all. So it's gonna be it's gonna be great. We're just trusting God for the greater at this point. We have about a good 45, Hazard 46 minutes ahead. until we get there. So, so we made it to the um, to the venue, y'all. We're here. There's already a game going on. Guys, uh, not our guys, but it's another team, another other two teams that's playing right now. So we're just waiting for them to finish. It's like six minutes, twelve seconds left in the game, and then it's go time for us. I'll let you all see, see the team. So we got some of the guys down here. Getting ready. Coach Gilstrap and of course Bay right there trying to get um his camera situated but 
like I said, it's another team on the court. We just getting ready to warm up and go to work. This is the facility. A little something. It's go time, y'all. Go time.